Hi everyone, my name is Megan Stackhouse and I'm a meteorologist with the National Weather Service Office here in Grand Junction, Colorado. And on this Wednesday of Colorado Lightning Safety Awareness Week, we are going to be talking about outdoor lightning risk reduction. Did you know that the majority of lightning related fatalities occur when people are outdoors? That's because unfortunately there really is no safe place to be outside during a thunderstorm. The best place to be during a thunderstorm is inside. So we have a saying here at the Weather Service, when thunder roars, go indoors. But what happens when there are some times when you can't get inside during a thunderstorm? First, it's important to plan ahead before even doing any sort of activities outdoors. Make sure that you check the latest forecast on weather.gov and make sure you have multiple ways to receive warnings for when you're outside, whether that be with your cell phone or no weather radio. Next, if you are able to get in a car, that's the next place, best place to be if you can't get inside. The reason is because the metal around the car is gonna keep you safe from the lightning. The caveat is you have to make sure that all your windows are rolled up. You have to make sure that there's no way that the air can travel through the car. Next, another safe, a good thing to remember to keep yourself safe is if you're outside, you need to make sure you're not on any sort of water because lightning is gonna be attracted to water. So you could get struck, especially if you're on a boat recreating or you're even swimming in a river. Finally, the next thing to remember is you need to make sure that if you're out hiking, that you are not the tallest object. Make sure that you don't get underneath any sort of tall trees or buildings or power light, power poles or anything like that. You need to make sure that you get low to the ground as low as possible. A good thing to do is keep uh, crouched down and keep your toes on the ground and your heels up. So these are some things that you can remember to keep yourself safe. Again, make sure that you check the forecast before heading out and always when thunder roars, go indoors. You need to make sure that you wait until 30 minutes after the last rumble of thunder passes before resuming any sort of activities because if you can hear thunder, you can get struck by lightning. Thanks for tuning in and if you have any other interest in seeing the other safety tips, please visit weather.gov safety and enjoy the rest of your week.